Hey, what's up, guys? This is Scott with Mayhem RC. Uh, it's been quite a while since I put out a video. I've uh, been busy, crazy schedule at work, but I'm definitely still in the hobby. And I just sold. Uh, you've seen three or four of the videos that I put out were on the SCX 10 II and the upgrades and the build and everything about that vehicle. I'm taking it from just uh, out of the box RTR to almost fully upgraded. But um, I actually put it up for sale on eBay because I wanted this. This is the Traction Hobby 1.8 scale 4x4 Founder. Um, not sure how much you know about this vehicle or the company. The company is a company based out of China. Um, kind of hard to get a hold of one of these here in the states uh, but it is doable uh, found this one on ebay there's a few other places the uh, asia tees hobbies will ship it to you here uh, there's also uh, i have actually forgotten the name of them there's a company out of uh, a hobby shop out of australia that you can buy it from and i'm just really excited to uh, I've never done an unboxing video generally don't like them, but this vehicle has me so excited that I actually that's what I wanted to do today um, You might if you follow um, medic on his uh, RC sparks uh, RC adventures uh, YouTube channel then you might have seen uh, his unboxing and running videos of the traction hobby Cragsman um, which is a lot like this vehicle in some ways and then again, it's a lot different than this vehicle This vehicle is uh, the founder which was the first truck put out by traction hobbies and it's um, It's got all its upgrades. Uh, it comes to you a RTR meaning almost RTR needs a motor and needs an ESC Just go ahead and get that out of the way. We I picked up the hobby wing um crawler brushed uh, 80 amp esc from Qu uh, the hobby wing quick run and also um then a box i haven't opened up but this is a power hobby 45 turn 540 uh brushed motor that i got off of ebay should have plenty of power um, if not, then maybe we'll go brush this. We'll just have to see. Also, uh, my good friend over at Bulletproof RC just purchased his probably two, two and a half, maybe three weeks ago. Uh, he's uh, made a video, put it up about his. He's already done. Uh, he went brushless, put on some more wheels and tires, and uh, the thing is awesome. That's all I, all I can really say about it is it's just awesome. So... What we're going to do is we're going to bust this box open and let you see how it comes. Um, it comes with remote, uh, comes with a servo, comes uh, almost fully assembled. I think I'm going to have to put the tires on. I'm going to have to, of course, put the ESC and the, uh, the motor in. But this is going to be an awesome, awesome rig. To run out on the trail so i'm gonna pause the video for a second turn the box over and we'll open the lid and see what's inside all right so got the box open as you can see and it comes with your manual um some wheel nuts looks like a wheel wrench a servo horn a few other odds and ends, opinion gear. We'll get into all that in just a moment. Set that to the side. And of course, here's the radio. It's just a generic, um, I actually haven't opened it up yet. I'm literally just opened this box, guys. Just a generic radio um, they send with it. This is the guy from the US that sells it. That uh, I guess, I don't know, this may be the same radio that it comes from from uh if you order one from asia tees i'm not really sure but i'm going to outfit this rig with my fly sky so this probably will never even be out of the bubble wrap 
not that it's not any good just i like the fly sky and here is the body which is as you can see massive like uh going from a scx 10 2 to this like take this and put it over here beside my yeti and you can see that yeah it's um it's pretty big so um but that's the body it comes painted it's a uh like a gunmetal gray color and i will uh pause the video again in just one moment we'll open this bag up and we'll let you see this body and the details it comes with uh tires um i like these um Keith at Bulletproof, of course, I've seen his, and these are full-on bead locks. They, so all 24 of these screws here would have to be removed in order to take these wheels off of these tires, but the difference is these wheels are 2.6, uh, where normal, uh, most rock crawlers are either 1.9 or 2.2 um, .2 wheels, and these are actually 2.6, so haven't really been able to find any of the tires for them yet but rich over at rc network actually has a video up showing you how to mount some 1.9 size tires on some 2.2 bead locks so maybe just maybe we'll be able to put some 2.2 tires on these 20 or excuse me 2.2 2.6 ah can't talk um bead lock wheels but We'll look at that later. So, you get five of these. Actually, you get four, uh, of course, for the rig and all one for a spare. So, it's a real spare. Uh, they're all, as a matter of fact, it's already mounted on the chassis. But, yeah. Nice wheels. Very heavy. Um, got some really um, pretty stout foams in them. Uh, they, are, they are flexible and a little squishy, but soft. But definitely can stand up to the weight of this rig and then of course the star of the show sorry guys about this sorry camera work this is why i don't do unboxings but this video uh th this rig has just really got me this excited so <laughs> if it doesn't fall off and hit the ground pull this off and there it is. The Traction Hobbies Founder. Carbon fiber chassis. Uh, everything else on this rig um, is metal. It's alloy, aluminum. Um, if it's not carbon fiber, it's alloy or aluminum. Even the gears inside are all... I even believe the spur, I'm not real sure. The spur might be plastic, but I know all the gears and the transmission and everything are metal as well. Now the difference in this vehicle, um, if you get a Craigsman, it looks same design, um, except it has a metal uh, ladder rung frame, uh, then that's, and it has the, the metal, um, gear housings rear ends in it but most of it's plastic but it's also it's a lot like the trx4 it comes with five servos in it you have low you have high low high transmission two-speed transmission uh, you can lock and unlock your differentials in the front and the rear and i believe um i've even heard that possibly you can switch it from two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive not sure about that so don't quote me on that but yeah this is uh this is gonna be awesome. This rig, it weighs. Uh, I was hanging out with Keith the other day and his, I think, fully loaded with the battery, with everything in it. Um, it's about 15, 16 pounds, something like that. So uh, it's a heavy rig, but I am just stoked about this. I cannot wait to get the engine in it. Can't wait to get the control, get it all set up and get this thing out on the trail look at it guys and it it's just i mean if you're into this hobby and you like jeeps could it be any more beautiful
seriously. Laser etched um, poison spiders on the rear end covers. Both of them, front and rear. Um, it's just, honestly, as far as um, the hobby goes, uh, this is artwork. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about it. Um, it's just amazing. I cannot wait to get this thing together. There's the shot of the underside. Sorry about the, I had literally, you know, I just took this thing out of the box. You saw me do it. So I don't have all of the paper off of it yet, but this thing is going to be amazing. Metal drive shafts, everything, skid plate, aluminum links, all of it. It's all metal. All right, so that's it for today. Um, I'm going to actually move this box out of the way. I'm going to start assembling and getting this rig together. I hope you guys enjoyed just seeing it, it come out of the box. And if you want to know more about traction hobbies, uh, you can go to Asia Tees. Uh, there's a guy on um, eBay selling these. You can get it right here in the States. I think he ships out of New Jersey. And it's just... Uh, it's going to be an awesome, awesome vehicle. I'm very excited about it, guys. And as soon as I get it together, get it running, uh, we'll do some more videos on it. Until then, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you're enjoying the hobby out there somewhere, doing something. Um, my tag has always been Mayhem RC, where we put RCs to the limits. I'm not scared to scratch mine up. I'm not scared to run it. So as soon as we, I get it running... Um, We'll show you what this thing will do. Hope you guys have a great day. If you like the video, subscribe. Uh, hit the bell button to keep, keep notified. And uh, until we see you next time, guys, have a wonderful day. See ya.